fist nuts, it's massive. It's like a maze. Surely there's no health and safety. Why is there such a big kid? No, surely not. Good morning, it is currently 4.30 a.m. Today, we are flying to the Philippines. I did not expect to be saying that this year. If you've got any recommendations of things to do, things to see, things to eat while in the Philippines, please let us know in the comments. But for now, let's head to the airport. We are through security and passport control into departures. I know what this is about. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. We've already been told that our flight has been delayed by 40 minutes. So instead of leaving at 7.20, we are leaving at 8 a.m. But that's fine because we've got a direct flight, so we don't need to worry about missing another flight. Straight there, easy. Just picked up some croissants. And this airport's really cool, it's like a big tent sort of thing. And then our plane's there. Okay, we're a little bit excited because this is probably the nicest plane that either of us have been on. It's the coolest thing ever. We've been given pillows and a blanket. It's only three hours and 20 minutes and it's the morning. This is the best part. Can you put the camera please? Press this. I have a full on remote control that I think you can play games on and Shane Rob is like, it's a keyboard! So we will be checking this out in a bit. That took a lot longer than we thought. We had to sit in a room and they just went through people and we had to show pretty much all, all the documents and now it's passport time. Welcome to Manila everyone. We have just arrived. We've just come out of arrivals. We are waiting for our grab taxi. It's very loud here. There's a guy blowing a whistle all the time and <laughs> there's just traffic everywhere. But it started raining as well, which we weren't expecting. But yeah, wait for this and then we're gonna head straight to the hotel. Okay, so we don't really know the rules on the masks as well. So if someone can let us know in the comments, if you're from the Philippines, what the rules are with the masks. Yeah, some people are wearing them, some people aren't, so. But we've just checked into a hotel and we need 1,500 pesos, is it? Yeah. Um, to, for like a deposit, so we're gonna head to an ATM, grab that and then we can like check it properly, I guess. What I've noticed so far is the traffic in Manila is insane. <laughs> There's just different types of transportation everywhere. They've got these cool like, trucks they're kind of like the song tows in, in thailand yeah but they all look different and some of them are war vehicles i think or something yeah no i think they're all they're all war vehicles and the americans left them here they just didn't take them back when the war ended so instead of like just getting rid of them the philippines decided to use them as public transport which is great they all look different but yeah here's an example of one of them now decorated differently and they're like really colourful. 
pretty cool but yeah we're gonna head to the ATM we'll get some money out and then we can check it properly and then we can get out and explore we are staying in the Passé I think it's called area and that's all I can really compare it to so far is like Bangkok because that's the only other like major city we've seen in Southeast Asia yeah but yeah we've got the big cables like in Bangkok um, and then obviously you've got scooters everywhere like in Bangkok as well. So we've checked into the hotel, it might be one of the most budget rooms that we've had so far. We'll give you a quick room tour. It's got a top of bed here, we've got a table and chair area there. Then we've got a little sink, a kettle and through here is our very oh, small... Wow, that really is small, it's the first time I've been here. Is there a light? Oh! So we've got the shower and the toilet there. The toilet basically is the shower. You can have a shower on the toilet. This is our first time out exploring outside the hotel. We're currently staying in the Passé area, I want to say. Or it's like, it's like in between the Passé and the Makati area. But we're going to head over to the Makati area because we have heard good things about it. Yeah, we have. And check that out and just give you our first impressions, I guess. Just walk in to the shopping mall to get some sim cards first but it's so loud on this street we've got i think there's like a motorway or something up above and then there's a main road here there's so many cars one thing we have noticed too is the Philippines love to beat their homes i feel like they beat their homes for anything like they beat their homes to greet someone they beat their homes to tell someone to go out of the way there's a lot of beeps going on they're like electric cables here it's kind of like Bangkok. Look at this, it's nuts. Surely there's no health and safety uh, involved there. It's busy though, it's a busy city. But it does remind me a little bit like Bangkok, I guess. I don't want to make too much comparisons, but it's a busy place. We've just picked up some sim cards from a shopping mall called green belt and it's like amazing yeah it's so big we are currently in like green belt five i think it is we have here the manila is known for their shopping malls so this is definitely not going to be the only one that we're going to come across in the next couple of days uh but it's been nice to stumble across this one to get some sim cards so i think we'll take a little walk around and head to the next spot eh? yeah so i've read that makati is the business district here in manila so no wonder there's some like posh malls and stuff around. But I think we're just gonna wander around this one a little bit and then we're gonna head out. There's a couple more things we wanna see in Makati, but we're waiting for our data to kick in so we can uh, finally use Google Maps. Yeah. Okay, the rain has started absolutely pouring down so we're just going to stay in the shop more for now and we're going to give you our proper first impressions tomorrow so we're going to head into i think you want to pick up a couple of t-shirts or something dear yeah i think after you've been traveling for a little while you saw your clothes start to get a little bit i won't say grubby but they start to lose their color a bit and they don't look so great so maybe a couple of new things seen as we're in the the city of shopping i guess as it's known for yeah, I think a few of my teachers has got holes in as well, so maybe <laughs> getting rid of some and getting some more. This place is nuts, it's massive, it's like a maze. There's so many different like sections to it, I feel. Yeah, we're now walking across like a bridge, across a main road to get to a different, a completely different building. But it's the same shopping mall. Yeah, there's literally like a bridge here going into that section and then a bridge here and here to get into this section. Very <laughs> confusing. It's massive. And this isn't even one of the biggest yeah, ones. I was going to say, I know they love their shopping malls, but this isn't even the biggest one. No. There's like two or three bigger than this. Yeah, far from it. I don't know what's going on here, but there's a massive queue and it goes all the way up there. We haven't found the end. I don't know why they're queuing. What is this queue for? Why is there such a big queue? Oh my god, they're waiting for a bus. No, 
surely not. No? Are you sure they are not? What? <laughs> What's going on? There can't be a bus, surely. It's either a bus or so it's like jig jiggly jiggly That is the longest line ever. What? That is wild. Yeah, we're back in that green belt mall and because it's got so many different buildings and the bridges connect them there's just this cool like outdoor sort of feel to it where there's just big trees, palm trees and stuff and a big like garden area with some restaurants and stuff in which is pretty cool but we will have to do a full video just on shopping malls I think because there's supposed to be some really cool ones here I think we're going to call it a day for today uh, we had a very early morning, 4am start so we're getting a bit tired now uh, but we'll have a full day of exploring Manila tomorrow. I'm really, really excited. Yes, yeah, so we are going to end here. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new around here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you again tomorrow.